All right, financial math. Uh, today we're talking about annuities. Uh, this is our last lesson on savings accounts. Um, annuities, what you need to know about annuities for today. Annuities, annuities are uh, a type of savings plan uh, in which you uh, deposit in, or someone deposits an equal amount of money at equal periods or intervals. So um, we're going to talk about more specific types of annuities when we get into our, our unit on investments. Uh, but for right now, you just need to know an annuity. It's like a savings plan. Um, it could be like a retirement fund. You put in money into your annuity at um, specified periods, and it earns interest throughout. Um, and then you take out uh, that you take out that money at intervals too. So that's typically how, how that works. Uh, what we're going to be ca calculating is the future value of an annuity. Um, uh, to, uh, it's, it's very similar to the compound interest. It's really, it's almost the same, um, same process to calculate the future value of an annuity as uh, the, the, com the compounding interest tables that we did uh, a couple of days ago. Um, so let's look at an example. So this is an example from the book. Uh, if you need help, you can pause and read through this to see exactly uh, how, how to calculate this, but we have Phil Larrick, who deposits $500 in ordinary unity annuity, I'm having trouble with that word today, at the end of each quarter. The account earns 6% interest compounded quarterly. What is the future value of the account in two years? How much interest was earned? So uh, just like we did with the compound interest tables, what you need to, to, to think about is how often is it compounded? So it's compounded quarterly. Quarterly means it's compounded four times in a year. All right, so that's where this comes from. Uh, and then how many actual compounding periods were there, there, there be? So it's number of periods, it was four times number of years too. So it's eight compounding uh, periods. Uh, then you're going to find the interest rate just like per period, just like we did with the compound interest table. So it's 6% divided by how many times the number of periods per year. So again, that's the four comes from because it's compounded quarterly. You get 1.5%. Um, and then you use the table. We're going to look at this table in a minute here. But you use this table, 1.5% uh, and 8. You find the value of it. Um, and then you take that table value and you multiply it by the initial deposit. And so in two years, whew, that's not bad. $500 in two years is worth uh, $4,216.42. That's pretty awesome. Um, uh, and then the future, so the total of all deposits. So what you need to remember here is where it is a little bit different. You are depositing $500 at each compounding period. So um, the, the future value, so it's, you might think, oh, my $500 grew to over 4,000. That's not quite it. You're putting in $5,000 every three months for two years. So you are, in fact, actually depositing $400. So the total interest earned is 216. All right. So that's the other thing you need to figure out because an annuity means you are depositing, uh, making the, uh, a, the same deposit um, every, every compounding period. So it's $500 every period quarterly. So that's going to be um, for two years, that's going to be eight deposits of $500 over those two years. So uh, let's look at examples that will work through. So uh, Rodolfo deposits $400 in an ordinary annuity at the end of each quarter in an account earning 6% interest compounded quarterly. So this is um, first thing we need to do, uh, the, the rate per period. So remember that's going to be the interest rate, which is 6%. So six divided by how many periods per year? It's compounded quarterly, so that's four periods per year. So the rate per period is 1.5%. So we're in this column here. All right, next we need to calculate out how many periods. So how many actual compounding periods is this, is this going? 
going for. So it's four periods per year for two years. So that comes out to eight. So what's the value in two years? So the four comes from compounding quarterly, the two comes from compounding years. And so this is how many periods we're calculating it for. So there we go. That is the, um, the table value. So what we do, we take that initial investment, the 400 times the table value, which was 8.43284. I'm gonna get out my calculator. So 400 times 8.43284, that comes out to 3,000, 3,000, uh, $373.14. So after two years, uh, your investment has turned into $3,373.14. How much total interest is earned? So um, first we actually need to figure out the total deposit. So the total deposit, we're doing $400 every quarter for two years. And we just figured out that there's for every period. So there's eight periods. So we multiply that. So 400 times eight is 3,200. So to find out the total interest earned, you take your future value minus the total deposit. Um, and that comes out to 100, put an equal signs here, $174.14. Right. So just a couple things. Remember you have to calculate out the rate per period. So it's the rate divided by how often it's compounded per year, uh, how many periods you're actually calculating out. So that's uh, periods per year times how many years or the amount of time. And then the total deposit again is your how much money you're depositing and how many times you're depositing that. Um, and use the formula, use the table, um, that'll do it. Uh, so this wraps up. Uh, chapter five with the savings counts. So next time we will be talking about um, cash purchases, fun times.